This was the home behind me on Oak Street that police officers swarmed around last Thursday evening, telling Jose Soto to come out after they say he allegedly threatened to shoot. But family members told me there's more to the story. He has PTSD, he has mental illnesses. You know, he just he says things out of anger and, and out of being scared. Denisha Soto is the sister of 27 year old Jose Soto, who was shot and killed by officers after they say Soto threatened to shoot at them during a standoff while inside his mother's home. Police also say they swarmed the home on Oak Street that night because he violated his parole stemming from his conviction for first degree robbery. But Denisha says her brother never had a weapon and made the threat out of fear. He's not the first. I know there's there's a few. I think there's three or three other ones this year in the past two years that have died at the hands of police officers not following protocol or just a trigger happy and shooting. This table was set up on the porch for Soto. Flowers, candles and pictures were placed in memory of him. Just two days ago, the Tallinn State's Attorney's Office released the names of the four officers who fired their guns and since then have been placed on paid administrative leave. Soto's close friends believe more should be done. They didn't have to shoot him that many times. He didn't came out with his came out with his hands up in the air. One of them telling Fox 61 he believes the quarantine may have played a part in his worsened mental illness. Being in the house 24 seven, not being able to get out, um, you know, being locked up, especially in a, you know, home all the time, it, it, could, it could have played a play. It could have definitely played. The Tallinn State's Attorney's Office is investigating this incident and the family tells me they expect to hold a rally sometime next week. Reporting in Manchester, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.